Welcome to the Team Afterburn Studios, home of the 1,000 calorie burn, where we bring you the Team Afterburn Workout of the Week every week. Today's workout is high intensity, resistance based. I'm going to be demonstrating the workout so you can get the most out of it at home. Today's workout consists of three circuits, two exercises, six rounds in each circuit. It is a resistance space, so we want you to use a little bit more resistance. Never sacrifice form, but try to increase that resistance so you can get the most out of this workout. And don't forget, if you're struggling with your fitness goals, you can contact us through Facebook, email, you can call us, or you can go to our websites for some more helpful tips. Exercise one, circuit one, is the power wheel rollout. You wanna make sure that you keep your head level in a neutral position, and she's gonna go ahead and demonstrate this exercise. Keeps the hips down, reel, roll all the way out. Now, if that's a little bit too much, too challenging, come over here to the bench. You're gonna be on an inclined bench, and that will alleviate some of the pressure and make this exercise a little bit easier. If you don't have access to a power wheel, then you can go, go ahead and do a plank on your knees and just walk the hands out. By walking the hands out, we're putting more stress on that uh, core. You can also do this on your knees if you have that ability. Exercise number two, circuit one, is the stability ball circles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your elbows on the stability ball, lift those hips up on the toes, keep the hips down, don't get them too far out. You're gonna circle around, once on the right, once on the left. The further you go out, the harder that is. If you don't have access to a stability ball, you're gonna do what are called rocker sliders. So you're gonna be on your toes and you're just gonna rock back and forth. Again, the further you go back, the harder this is. To make it easier, go a little bit further forward, staying over those arms. If you need to, you can always go down to your knees. Circuit two, exercise number one, is the renegade row from a box. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself in a plank position on a box, one arm, pull the weight up, you're gonna row, you're gonna try to keep that elbow in as tight as you can so that you really focus on using those lat muscles. Keep in mind, if you don't have access to a dumbbell, you can use anything that adds load to this exercise. And you're gonna do all on the right side, and then as you get through this circuit, circuit or round number two, you're gonna do the left side. Circuit two, exercise number two, is the goblet split squat. You're gonna get yourself into a lunge position. Take that foot nice and long ways back there. Keep the back foot straight, so don't let it twist in or twist out, and you're gonna come straight down. Keeping that front leg just slightly bent and come down to a 90 degrees in that front leg. Keep that chest up so that we don't put too much pressure on the lower back. Circuit number three, exercise number one, is the dumbbell clean and press. Single arm dumbbell clean and press. Nice wide stance, drop with your hips, keep that chest up, and you go all the way down, and then press it all the way up. Again, keep that chest up. Don't allow that chest to fall forward. You put too much stress in that lower back. Drop and drive with the hips. Circuit number three, exercise number two, single arm dumbbell floor press with bridge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie back on the BOSU ball, raise those hips, get your weight, and it's gonna be a single arm. So you're gonna press with that single arm. And again, what you're gonna do is all the even rounds are gonna be on the left side, all the odd rounds are gonna be on the right side. Now, if you don't have access to weights, but you do have access to a tube, you can do the same thing. Just put the tube underneath the ball or whatever platform you're using. Thank you so much again for joining us for this week's Workout of the Week. And we'll see you at the Team Afterburn Studios, home of the 1,000 calorie burn, where we transform bodies and change lives.